Now, you mentioned earlier that everyone has uh, the ability to do what you do. How can people more understand on how they can connect to that part of themselves, that intuition, how to open themselves up to that kind of inner wisdom? Self-care, self-love and self-compassion. So what I'm learning, even with my own resistance to all the ills of the world, is that I, I can activate externally and fight for this cause and that cause and these rights and those rights. But if I'm not doing the inner work of alignment and presencing myself and digging out my own um, limitations and, and looking at some of that more closely, I'm going to be very ineffective at any activism work that I do. Mm-hmm. And so to be a clear channel, I must be committed to myself, my inner state all the time. That doesn't mean that I'm always buzzing and high vibrational and, you know, giggling and skipping about. Um, my life is just as Uh, complicated as anybody else's. And I have all the same struggles that anybody else does as well. Um, But, but what I do is I prioritize my self care and my self compassion. So when I have made a mistake about something and I would normally in years past beat myself up over that for sometimes weeks or months or a very long time. I, that time has shortened. I, I recognize the different voices. One is the egoic voice that wants me to play a smaller game so that we can stay safe. <laughs> um, and I honor her. Okay. Gotcha. Thanks ego. I know, I know your job, but I've got this and, and it's okay. We are going to enter into more visibility. Now we are going to share our heart and our spirit with the world. Um, paying attention to that, applying, uh, compassion to, to me has been very helpful. What I do as a general practice is, um, I do have a meditative practice, of course, and meditation can come in so many different forms. For me, I also have to get out in the natural world every day. I have got to be among the plants and the animals, the butterflies and the birds, the life that occurs while I'm within these little walls doing my, my life, because that for me is where my soul is at ease and where I come back into the interconnectivity of all life. So I'm not actually this lone person having this, you know, independent, isolated experience of the world. I'm part of a a weaving of this beautiful life on the planet and I contribute to it or I detract from it. And I do both, right? Like I have plastic in my house, for example, and I can be wasteful with food. And so, um, but I also plant a garden and I grow food and I, you know, there's all these angles. So doing what's nourishing to us and finding those places where we can draw energy and love and compassion and kindness and connection is is self-care. And that is, I believe, required, at least for me, to be a clear channel. And also deep relationships. Um, I'm not a fan of superficial conversations. I'm not a fan of being in in crowds where I have to figure out how to have superficial conversations. So I make sure... (laughs) I come from I come from LA. So yeah. Yeah, so you could imagine. <laughs> so um so knowing knowing my limitations and, and also my desires and making those not only okay, but making sure I have those things that bring me joy and light and love is what's important. 